In this video, we'll see how to use the Segment plugin inside WeWeb. So Segment is a customer data platform, meaning it's a tracking tool that will help you send data to other analytics tools. So for example, if you were to send data to Google Ads, to Google Analytics, to Amplitude, Mixpanel, HubSpot, Sentry, I mean, anything you want, you just have to use Segment in your app and Segment will forward this data to uh, these tools. So to do this, first thing to do is actually to create a source in Segment because Segment is composed of sources and destinations. So sources are the, the apps that will send data to the destinations. Destinations are the tools. So like I said, like Google Analytics, for example. So I will create a source and to track a WeWeb app, you should actually use the um, JavaScript website source. Then we click on Add Source. Let's call it WeWeb. And as the website URL, I will take the URL of my WeWeb app for now. When the, the app is in production, make sure to change this URL to uh, your final URL. So now Segment generated a snippet to add to your page. So we won't need this snippet actually because WeWeb will do this for us. The only thing you need is inside the analytics.load, you see here you have a string, which is your write key that you will need in the WeWeb plugin. So let's copy it, go to WeWeb, to your app, and go to the extensions inside the plugins. Then select Segment and add it. As you see here, you will have to enter the right key. So that's what I'm doing. And now inside WeWeb, I can use the segment actions. So for example, let's say I want to track the login happening on my WeWeb app inside segment. To do this, I would find my form container and in the login workflow, I can create uh, new actions. So first, for example, I will want to track an event. So you see here, you have like the many actions you have in inside segment. So I, uh, I will recommend you to check their docs on which action to use because track is for tracking an event, for example, page is to track a, a page view, identify is to identify login or sign up, for example, so a user. So what we do will do is that we'll use a track and basically you will need the event name and you can add as many properties uh, with key value pairs as you want. Here it's a simple event, so I will only track the name, which is, is called login. And then if I test it, and if I go to my segment debugger tab, you see that my event is happening. So here I have a login event with the analytics of track, log track login. And the cool thing with Segment is that any event is tracked uh, according to an anonymous ID. So if a user is not logged in, the Segment will uh, use cookies or local storage to track what the user is doing. And then when you use the identify for the first time, Segment will merge this anonymous ID along with the ID of the user. And then uh, when the user will come again and when you use identify, any event will be tied to this specific user. So an example to do this, uh, if I were to log in, for example, so I will type my login and uh, password, my email and password, sorry, go back to my form container. And here, after login with Zano, I will add an identify, segment identify. And as the user ID, so what I will do is that I will actually log in with Zano. Yeah. And for the, um, the segment identify, sorry, I will use the user ID as the ID. And for traits, for example, I can add email and then I will bind it to the user email. I can also add, why not the name and bind it to the username. So this is totally arbitrary. You can enter any key values that you want. It's just that this will be passed to other tools. And then maybe the role and the role. And if I test it, 
you see here that my identify is done. So now I have a user with the ID one with emails, my email, name and role. And these events are not tied to this specific user. So if I were, for example, to trigger a login again, you will see here the anonymous ID is actually the same as my user one. And that's how you track things in, um, in uh, WeWeb using segments. So you could add any other track um, events to your app. No need to identify the user all the time. It's specifically for the login and sign up workflows. But now if you track on the app after a user logged in, this will get tied to the user. So you just have to use this track method. And for the page views, they're tracked by default when the app is published. It's not in the editor because the editor is not triggering real page views. But if you want to force them, you can use the page uh, action with the category and the name of the page. But I would say that most of the time you would just need to let it as is and try it on the published app. And that's it.